Our attention has started to shift towards how we can support those in the fire affected communities long term. And with people all around the world being urged not to travel to Australia, tourism has taken a massive hit. But there are plenty of businesses still open who need our help. I just wanted to let everyone know that we're still operating despite the ongoing drought and the recent bushfires. Coming to you live from Batemans Bay, from Innes Family Boatshed. We're here to tell you that we're alive and well and we're ready for some visitors. Come see us. Central Toolbar and Toolbar Toolbar are ready and open for business. We're looking to welcome our friends back and we want to wrap our arms around it. Beautiful Seal Bay, magnificent beaches, wineries, lots to do. So if you've got a Kangaroo Island holiday booked, don't cancel it. Now to tell us how we can lend a hand, we are joined by co-founder of Road Trip for Good, Zoe Manderson in Melbourne, and Australian Traveller Magazine's Quinton Long. A very good morning to both of you. Morning, guys. Morning, morning. morning. Um, what's up with you, Zoe? Um, can you tell us a little about the initiative you started and, and what it's doing? Yeah, so the idea behind Road Trip for Good was to set up a website that allowed people uh, and businesses in these buyer bushfire affected regions to register and essentially put up their hand and say I'm here, I'm open and I'm ready for visitors to come and then for us to go back to this website and use it as a resource when planning road trips back to the region when safe to return. So we know how much these regions rely on tourism and, and they're doing it really tough in what would be their busiest time of year. So from our perspective the message is simple, it's plan a road trip, stop at as many places along the way, you know, buy your coffee and your bread from the local bakery. You might only stay a day or a weekend or more, but every little bit helps. I just want, I'm looking here at the, um, the sort of things that you have on the website, which is terrific. I mean, it was great to hear too from some of those businesses there uh, and keep mm. sending your videos in and we'll get yep. those uh, to on air as, as quickly as we can during a show over the next couple of weeks as well. Um, but how does the website actually work? So for small businesses or any local businesses in these affected areas or indirectly affected by cancellations, they can go to our website and um, add, their webs add their business to the map. And then for the rest of us, it's time to start planning a road trip. Yeah. Mm. You know, get on the website. We've got a trip planner. It helps you create your own itinerary and then you can hit the road. I think now's the perfect time for planning an Easter road trip, even a winter road trip, you mm. know, beautiful wine by the fire. You know, I think we can all do it and it can really make a difference. You all I'm hearing is leave the kids <laughs> at home. <laughs> and, I, and you have me at wine and fire. <laughs> you know, it's um, but it is important to know too, in the next mm. couple of days, there are some of these areas are going to be open for business. The fire threat is going to be exacerbated at least for a little bit um, and we have to be mindful of that and we have to follow what, what authorities say about that but Quinton this is where you come in yeah. how yeah. can we find deals in those areas look the, um, amazingly so many parts that have been fire affected are now open and mm. welcoming guests and ready to take you on this weekend we can make a big difference by just giving ourselves a weekend away and I'll give you an example starting in New South Wales down on the south coast around Molly Mook you know Bannisters that famous beautiful mm. luxury resort is open and actually has availability if you can't afford a, a banisters, go for the Holiday Haven at Ulladulla. Only 70 bucks for a powered site. Or the Big Four at Burrell Lake. Go into Ulladulla, go into their cafes, Mavericks or Treehouse. They have beautiful cafes, open for business. Mm -hmm. Put money in their tills and make the money go around that community. Mm -hmm. Go into Cupid's Winery. It's got great cheeses. It's got a brewery, beautiful mm -hmm. wine. It doesn't get any better than mm -hmm. that. And you can do it tomorrow. They're open, they're ready for business. Good. Cause, and a lot of places down around Eeps Gippsland, they haven't been affected by the fires either, have they? So That's there's right. some good deals there. Absolutely. Even, even Lakes Entrance, which was affected mm. by fires, is open for yeah. business. And I was speaking to um, Jan from Waverley House Cottages just yesterday. Five of her six cottages are open mm. this weekend. She's reduced her rates to $180 a night. For, for, that's their winter rates. You can go in, and obviously you can go to the great pubs there for a pub mm. meal, go do a tour of the lakes, put money in the tills that, that people need that money to pay their staff to keep the community I know going. that the, uh, the New South Wales um, Tourism Minister, he's, he's um, calling a meeting today to try and get everyone together because there's been a 60% mm. um, uplift and people cancelling their trips to those areas. This is the sort of thing at home that you can mm. actively do to help people. Everyone's wondering what to do. Well, this
this is one thing you can do, plan a holiday in, this, in these areas. South Australia. Yeah, Lobethal and the Adelaide Hills, really badly affected. Mm. Golding Winery, they were, they've lost vintages, they've lost vines. They're open for business. Go in, have a wood-fired pizza. Yeah. Stay at 1964, Lobethal B&B or the Manor in Harndorf. Great area. The Harndorf is unreal. Yeah, I mean, Harndorf is one of those great, cute towns that yeah. really has a lot for everybody. I'm looking forward to taking Ali there as part of the Today Show experience. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't wait. I think there will be many experiences this year. Yeah, I'm sure there will be. And, and, look, and the other thing I'll say, this is about a hand up, not a handout. Mm. Yeah. Give people with dignity a way to get the community mm. back on their feet. Well, and, we, and you can do it this weekend. It does, and it's great for you and it's great mm. for you. Well community. done, uh, Quinlan. Well done, Zoe. Thank you so much for that. And so it's an important step along the way to helping mm. these, uh, these communities recover. Yeah.